If you are looking for a home in Bowmanville, this will be kind of a different video than you might have seen within the Durham region. It's going to be an actual video walkthrough of a property that's going to be listed. It's in Bowmanville at Bonds and Liberty. Uh, so you are kind of right in the middle of the 401, 407 and not too far from the future GO station that's coming. It's tons of green space around parks and good schools and we are just going to go through it so you can see it as if you were physically here doing the viewing and we're going to get into it right now. So we will uh, start on the street. It's Allworth Crescent, 147 Allworth Crescent. And as you can tell in the name, it is a crescent, meaning the people who are driving on the street live on the street, makes it quieter. So if you have uh, small kids that uh, you have a future of road hockey and learning to drive bikes, these are the types of streets you'll want because it just makes it a lot easier. Uh, this house here, it is uh, approximately just over 2,000 square feet, four bedrooms. It has two full bathrooms and then a powder room as well. Basement is unfinished, so you do have your opportunity to customize it. Um, the main floor, second floor has already kind of been done, and you'll see that as we get inside. Uh, starting on the outside, you have grass, you have garden. You can fit four cars on the driveway and one in the actual garage. Uh, looking from the outside, you can see that the shingles are in good condition. The windows are vinyl, so windows, if they are vinyl, can last you a very long time. You'll see here, you're walking up double door entry. You do have a little porch, so if you're looking for somewhere you can sit, uh, you have some interlock along with some gardens. So let's jump into the house and then we can uh, continue the tour from there. Sorry to interrupt the video, uh, but uh, if you're enjoying it, be sure to uh, like it. And also if you could subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. It lets me know people are enjoying the content that I am putting out there. I have so many families looking to move to the Durham region. I absolutely love it. So if you want that same help, all you have to do is call, text, email. You can send the carrier pigeon, uh, whatever is easiest for you. And I'm here to make your uh, move and relocation go so much easier. Uh, sorry to interrupt the video. Let's jump back to it. So as you walk in, you have the upgraded little hall bench that's been put here, custom fitted. And then you kind of look right through. You have your living room and your dining room. And then on top of the, the cubby bench behind, you also have a full closet for when people come over and uh, they need a place for their jackets, everything like that. Uh, you have hardwood floors and then the baseboards. I don't know if you can see them, but they are upgraded baseboards that again are custom. It does help when you have custom woodworker that is uh, helping getting the house ready. It uh, makes all the difference. Upgraded light fixtures. Uh, so you do have your little sitting area and dining room. And that's the, the view as you are leaving the house. You do have a powder room that's on the main floor. Hello. And uh, again, quartz countertops, custom cabinetry. The, the walls have been done as well. So it's very uh, chic kind of looking. Upgraded light fixture, mirror, uh, nothing in this bathroom. I would say is uh, basic whatsoever. And then you have another closet. So if you're looking for a place with storage, that helps. And then you have the uh, trim all the way around. Again, a lot of effort went into making this look as it does. You do have a garage and uh, yeah, so it's a single car garage. It does have lots of storage here as well. You have an electric garage door opener and a little storage uh, nest kind of created there. And uh, so it's good for storage extra long type garage uh, so you could fit a car not a problem this is the door to the basement the basement is unfinished so we do not need to go down there and then again i just want to focus on details because when you are viewing a home these are the things that you can really pay attention to and uh, it's just a, a lot of effort again in here uh, you have new cabinets in the kitchens 
new countertops, quartz countertops as well. Uh, I'm not sure how well you can see the color tones, but uh, you have uh, two different color tones and that's kind of the style right now that's going on a lot. And uh, again, it's just, they did a really good job. Stainless steel appliances. And then you have that uh, white and black combination with the kitchen faucet, uh, extra long uh, sink. Uh, so again, a lot went into uh, making this what it is. And then you also have the light fixtures as well, all upgraded and coordinating with each other. This is the backyard. We'll go out there after, but uh, just a little sneak peek. You, uh, yeah, it's a very nice, peaceful backyard, which is nice. It gives you privacy with the trees. You do have a garden shed back there, a uh, spot for the barbecue, which is a gas hookup barbecue. So uh, yeah, it just makes it a lot easier for entertaining. Uh, but again, we'll go out there after. And this is the, the sitting area where you could watch TV. And the nice thing with this kind of layout is the fact that it's open. So you could be in the kitchen, but then if you have people over, you are still part of what is going on. And it has your little windows at the top there, but then you have your larger windows on this side. And then all back here, and you might not be able to see this from the camera, but it's smooth ceiling, so there's no uh, popcorn uh, back here at all. We'll continue on. We'll go up the stairs. So it has an upgraded banister. Very high ceilings in the up hallway here, just so you can see. Okay, so we will start on the left. So as I said earlier, this is a four bedroom. So this is a bedroom number one, uh, which is good for a single bed or an office. And then it does have its closet and window. So you have a lot of natural light coming in here. And then you go to bedroom number two. Huge windows, you have a ceiling fan, closet. So you could fit queen size bed and other furniture in here as well. Uh, so that's something that people tend to like is they don't wanna have all of the other bedrooms only being able to accommodate a, uh, a single. So it's a really good size bedroom. And then you have bedroom number three. So this one here has a little balcony that you can walk off onto. Uh, sit out there, perhaps good for visitors to prevent it, but uh, it's a good size room. You could fit queen size bed, two night tables and other furniture as well. And it wouldn't be overcrowded at all. And uh, you do have a full closet here as well. Okay, you have a linen closet here, which again for storage is absolutely fantastic. And then you have your communal bathroom. So this would be shared amongst the three bathroom bedrooms. I don't know why I said bathrooms, but it's, uh, you have your sink, your toilet, and then full stand-up shower and tub as well. So if you have kids, bath below, shower at the top. And a feature that a lot of people will like is second floor laundry. A lot of homes, you have to go into the basement for laundry, which can be a pain in the butt, especially if you have young kids because you do laundry a lot. My wife is constantly doing laundry with three kids and having a laundry room on the second floor comes in very handy. And uh, so you have the quartz countertops, front load washer and dryer. And then you also have some built-in cabinets above. And then, so this is the primary bedroom. And uh, again, you can fit king size bed, two night table, dresser, mirror, five drawer chest, armoire, um, any of the pieces that you want 
you can fit it in here. Or if you don't have a lot of uh, bedroom furniture per se, you can set it up as a little sitting area as well. Like this is set up. Uh, you have a large window overlooking the backyard. So you do have um, a very green, sorry if that made anybody sick, but uh, it's a very peaceful backyard. And uh, yeah, so it's just nice to wake up to every morning. And this is the primary bathroom. So you have the large soaker tub, uh, stand up shower, and then you have the upgraded cabinet with the quartz countertop here as well. I'll pop in, hello, hello. Uh, two windows, so if you're taking a bath, taking a shower, make sure the, the blinds are closed. You don't want anybody getting a free peep show. And then you got your toilet behind the door here. So it's a very nice size bathroom. And then you do have a full walk-in closet. Okay, so this is the walk-in closet uh, for the primary bedroom. Uh, you can have a lot of stuff there. That's a very cool dollhouse that was custom made by the, uh, by the seller. So she did a great job with that, but it's not included. So we'll go downstairs so you can see what the view of everything would be in the mornings when you're coming down. Or if you have kids that are a baby, the view in the middle of the night when you're coming down for bottles or coffee to help keep you awake. A lot of kid references from me because I have three young kids. Uh, so again, yeah, this is the interior of the house. Uh, so I'm going to go cut, set up, and then I'll go into the backyard so you can get the full view of that. So we'll take a little peek into the backyard. See what this is about. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. It's good if you have kids, they can't reach the top. Um, but you do have... Uh, interlock here you have a small little sitting area uh, these are uh, it's a new concept of a makeshift gazebo that people are doing because they are much easier and um, they're just really they last for a long time they have strong lights around them I've seen other people who have uh, like uh, a top on it so you can buy that you just need a very large piece of durable and uh, strong material and then you do have your shade here uh, you do have afternoon and evening sun here in the backyard so for uh, barbecues and everything like that is just very nice uh, the gardening has been done it's a private backyard as i said when we were inside uh, you do have a secondary suite here uh, i'm just joking it's good for kids but you can't rent it out and uh, it's fresh mulch and then you do have a large tree that gives off extra shade and a garden shed. So for all of your outside um, machines or equipment that you need to maintain grass and gardens and all that, you can put it there. You do have privacy hedges that are there. And uh, this is just the view from the backyard. Uh, one thing to note here with the barbecue, it, there is a gas line there. So all you have to do is move your gas line barbecue and it can connect right up. I'm not sure what's involved. I'm old school with uh, propane, but I'll probably end up going natural gas because it's a lot easier. Go back towards the front. Gate's locked. So the side we were at was the large side and then this is the smaller side where it's shared no real backyard access air conditioners they go on this side because they're out of the way you don't have to trip over them it's a uh, vinyl siding so vinyl has a siding lasts a very long time it doesn't discolor or anything like that uh, you do have a garage door opener that is here as well so you can park in the garage 
Well, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like it. And if you forgot at the beginning, subscribe to the channel. I'd uh, really appreciate that. Let's be know people are enjoying the content that I'm putting out there. When I started this channel two years ago, I didn't expect it would turn into what it is. And I'm grateful for everybody who has been watching my videos. I just surpassed, I believe, 250,000 views on my channel, which is insane considering my first few videos. I would get like maybe five a month so it's uh it's been really good so thanks for that i have families reaching out from all over the world and i absolutely love it so if you are looking to move here all you have to do is call text email you can send the carrier pigeon uh, whatever is easiest for you and i'm here to make your move and relocation go so much easier thanks for watching and until next time